Listen at the Bible. I want to talk a little bit to foolish people. That's right. Amen. You foolish folks out there that are rich, that are poor, that are black, that are white, that are bond, that are free. I don't care what position you hold. That's right. Your position don't stop you from being a fool. That's right. Hear this now. Ecclesiastes chapter 21 and verse 14. Yes. The inner parts of a fool. The inner parts, the inner workings. Of a fool. Of a fool. Are like a broken vessel. <laughs> hmm. The Bible compares the inner parts of a fool. Like a broken like vessel. Like a vessel that's broken. Why is that? Why is that? Let me itemize this for fools. You get a vessel that's broken. You fill it up with any type of water or lemonade or juice. If there's a crack there, whatever been poured in, gradually it's going to run out. Run out. Because the vessel is not whole, it's damaged. That's right. That's the way a fool is. That's right. You are damaged material. Amen. And the thing that damaged you, either somebody gave you advice that damaged you, either you hung around a group of people and that environment damaged you, you came out of a house that's full of fools. Full of fools. That damaged you. You connect yourself with some man yeah. that you fell in love with, he damaged you. That's right. You ran up on some woman that you lust after, she damaged you. That's right. You got some money and lost control and got a lucky gambling game. Mm. That damaged you. Amen. You went to some church and was a member of some church for years. Yes. That religion damaged you. That's right. So many categories of being a fool. Being a fool. Now one thing about God, he said, mm -hmm. I have no pleasure in fools. In fools. In fools. Hear me good viewers and you that are here. If you go to church, if you're a preacher, if you're a musician, and if you're out there, I want every entertainer to hear this good. You entertainers that's making so-called gospel albums, mm. singing songs about Jesus, going to some church because you are the guest choir, you are the guest entertainers. That's right. You see, when you're born of water and of the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ and walking with the truth of the gospel, no one sang for entertainment, but we sang to give God honor and glory. That's right. Are you getting me? That's right. You celebrities out there that participate in this religious performances. And after it's over, you go right back doing the things you're doing. In fact, before you come out on the stage, you're in the back room smoking, That's right. drinking, gambling, and then you hypocritically come together with your group or your choir and hold hands. That's right. And make a prayer that God won't hear. That's right. Somebody said, what? what? Give me Isaiah chapter 59. 59. And begin at verse 1. Remember, I'm working on fools. Isaiah chapter 59 and at verse 1. Hear this. Behold, the Lord's hand is not short. Behold, the Lord's hand is not short. That it cannot save. That it cannot save. Neither is he a heavy. Nor a tech. God neither is his ears heavy that it cannot hear that he cannot hear but your iniquity what but your iniquity think of it you songsters and entertainers and groups out there and choirs out there you're out there smoking weed and drinking beer and drinking Jack Daniels and hanging out in your so-called Christian clubs Go and ahead, doing everything that you want to do right. and when it's time for you to perform you hold hands and talk to God while you're still committing sin that's right your iniquities. And God said, but 
your iniquities Hallelujah. have separated so to God. But your iniquity, your, iniquity have your wrongdoing, have your separated. foolishness have separated, have separated between you, between you and your God, and your God, and your sins, and your sins have hid and your sins, sins. and your s i n s and your sins, your sins have hid His face from have you. Hid his face from you that he will not hear what that he will not hear that he will not hear for your hands are defiled with blood do you hear this that's right Hallelujah. so many of you you go in the backstage before you come out and perform Hold hands and ask God. Sometimes you see them on television and on social media. They back there praying. Homosexuals are praying. Men got their hair long like women with two and three earrings and lip gloss and makeup half naked. That's right. Everything. Second wife is holding hands. The second husband holy hands, everything holy hands, and you don't consider that God don't even listen to you. But your iniquities have separated. Well, Pastor Jennings, what would you call it? I wouldn't call it nothing. Nothing. But I tell you who will. Give me the book of Amos. Amos chapter 5. What is it? And at verse 23. You know I didn't have this in mind, but when you talk about fools, fools. it incorporates so much. That's right. All right, son. Amos 5 and verse 23. What is it? Take thou away from me. Take it away. The noise of thy songs. But I'm saying it about Jesus. Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs. I'm singing about Christ. Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs. Oh, Hallelujah. Right, God, I Take never away. want my singing to just fall under the category of noise. noise. Huh? Take thou away Take from me. thou away from me. The noise of thy songs. The noise of your songs I won't hear. For I will not hear the melody of thy vials. Hold it. Go ahead, man. The melody, the melody of your vows is what you sang to the noise. That's right. Noise would be the sound from the instruments, musicians. That's right. The melody is sung to the noise. That's right. Glory to God. <laughs> Amen. If God says, take away. Take thou away from me the noise. The noise of your song. For I will not hear. You see, there's noise that God don't want to hear. Right. And yet there's noise that God do want to hear. That's right. The noise that he do want to hear is a joyful noise. Joyful noise. Huh? That's right. Like you heard tonight, there was a joyful noise. That's right. Huh? That's right. But if God have no pleasure. No pleasure. In fools. Yeah. And I want everybody to hear this, even you that are in the church. If God has no pleasure in fools, whoever is a fool whoever. while the church is singing, God don't get no pleasure out of him or her while they're fool. That's right. He only get pleasure out of the joyful noise joyful that's noise. done in spirit and in truth. But if you're a fool, God don't get no pleasure, no pleasure out, of out of what you're doing. That's right. Are you getting this? Take that away from me. I want to make this plain because among the entertainment industry, the truth of God is known. Yeah. Very known. There are many uh, professional organists and choir uh, singers and directors and drummers, professional drummers. You see, when I was young, uh, a lot of musicians that's out today that's in my generation, a lot of them I came up with in false churches and jazz musicians and things like that. And many of them became very prominent and is prominent now. Yeah. Have their own mass choir and got albums and gold albums and things on that order, but they hear us preaching by God permission, the word of God. Yeah. The rap industry, there have been about two rappers that was rapping and trying to bring their music low key to get rid of the cussing and the foul language and they was listening to the truth of God message and one of the rappers incorporated my name. Wow. 
He incorporated my name within his song and began to say how what Pastor Jennings is preaching, I don't know what beat he had, what Pastor Jennings is preaching is making me reconsider. Wow. But until you obey, you're still a fool. Still a fool. This is why you hear me talk to the entertainment industry with pretense they talk about Jesus. That's right. With pretense they say they wish up the Lord. That's right. With pretense they say they have in church. But if you are a fool, if you're a fool. and not following the ways of Christ, yeah. God have no pleasure in nothing, nothing that you say or nothing that you do. That's right.